Hi, my name is Audra Murfield Langston, and I'm the chair of the Department of Arts, Languages, and Philosophy at Missouri S&T. This is the department that houses our wonderful music program. Our department is dynamic, creative, and rewarding, and our faculty will work with you to develop your skills, achieve your goals, and showcase your talents. We have a great group of energetic students and a wonderful sense of camaraderie within the program. In this program, you're going to be able to develop a lot of the skills that employers are looking for, like the ability to think creatively, the ability to appreciate things that are different, and the ability to work together in a team to accomplish common goals. But best of all, uh, this also provides you with a creative and stress-reducing outlet. I think wherever I go, I'll bring music with me. When I studied abroad in 2018, I, I had my flute with me. Like, I've loved music since I was small. It's helped me through like a lot growing up. Music's always been a really important part of my life, and I wanted to keep that um, in my college experience as well. So my freshman year, I, I knew a lot of people coming in, but it was really nice to go to Combo once a week and see those people and develop like a friendship that's not like my high school friends or anything like that, not the people I live with. It's a group of people that come together over a common thing and for me that was jazz and music and I love that. When you build those relationships, they go beyond just being like on the field or in the band room. I am Dr. David Sampson. I'm the director of bands at Missouri S&T. I teach wind symphony, uh, minor marching band, and music history courses. Uh, the minor marching band obviously runs in the fall. Uh, we perform at all of the football games, home football games. Uh, we do parades in town, uh, generally the three parades in the fall. With the concert bands, we have two basic concert bands that we run. Uh, one is the symphonic band, which runs in the spring. And the other one is our wind symphony, which runs both fall and spring semester. We have really the ability to create any kind of ensemble um, if students are interested in doing so. Uh, some of the ones that we normally have uh, beyond the pep band is uh, we also have a winter drum line that performs. Uh, we have a brass choir that is pretty consistent. And probably one of our more interesting groups is our video game music ensemble. The most memorable aspect was going to the bowl game with the football team, I guess last year, and just being able to be a part of that little piece of history with the football team because the other team didn't have a marching band or anything and so we got to go and we got to do the pregame and we got to do the halftime show. We got to do all of that. My name is Lori Francis. I conduct choirs on campus and I teach music appreciation courses. In choir you don't need to do anything except be willing to sing. You don't have to you don't have to love classical music. You just have to be a little bit open to learning some things maybe that, and hear some things that you hadn't ever experienced before. It also helps with your public speaking skills because you learn how to perform and relate to an audience while keeping a smile on your face and project. Um, so it has definitely helped me in that sort of way. Um, I know before coming here, I was not very confident at all, but this music program has definitely helped me become more confident and relate to others more. As we put it into form, that's all mathematical. It's symmetrical. Mozart is the king of symmetry. He's my hero because I love symmetry. But he's got everything all situated the way it's supposed to be. And as you delve even further into harmony, into a major chord, now instead of always going through and analyzing it as this is a C major chord, we assign numbers to it because it makes more sense as we go through. It's just very fascinating to me. I'm Dr. Kyle Warnke. I teach symphony orchestra, chamber orchestra, jazz ensemble, history of music for film, music theory one, music theory two, and introduction to music composition and arranging. Uh, there is no downside of being involved in music. It's just really good for my mental health. It helps me relax a lot, and then it also challenges me in a non-academic way. So I think in music you learn whenever you're in rehearsal that you can't tackle a whole like 10 minute piece in one rehearsal. It's breaking it down into small manageable like, pieces to tackle and then go from there. And also memorization skills because that has a lot to do with uh, like different classes, especially in biology and like I'm also taking Spanish as a minor, so it helps with my memorization skills as well. The orchestra, we have two of them. Uh, there is a chamber orchestra, which is focused on smaller ensembles, primarily only string players. And then we have the symphony orchestra, which is a larger ensemble, which consists of strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. The way to get involved is simply to play one of those instruments and enroll in the class or show up to a rehearsal 
and say that you want to play. Whether you are enrolled in the class or whether you are not enrolled, you are still held to the same standards as far as the practice time that you put in and your attitude towards class and attendance. It's not a conservatory. You are not fighting with somebody else for a chance at anything. You are just working together to make beautiful music. And that, all that needs is enthusiasm and excitement and passion. And I think our students have that in spades. I think it's really just about creativity. Uh, again, giving students a, a sense of um, there's more than one way to look at something. Really, it's kind of good to try something that you never tried before. You don't know if you're going to like it or not unless you try it. So why not take a semester, take a choir class, take band, take orchestra, take the appreciation class or one of the theory classes, anything. Just give it a try because you might surprise yourself and find out that you really do like it.